Welcome everybody, we've got another NZG model for you today, the Cinebogen 860 HD. Stay tuned and we'll go through the review. Alright, let's dive right into the review here. Fantastic box and standard packaging here from NZG. The box has the great Cinebogen colors on it. We've got our expanded polystyrene foam. When you look at it, just make sure you read whether it's on the top or bottom and get it set up right. Here we've got our top, so we should be all set. As we pull all the things out of this box, we've got a bunch of parts. First of all, a little bag of parts. We've got some track parts, some plugs for the walkway. We have the walkway itself, which is very nice, actually made out of metal. Then we have the other protective bars for that go around the back of the unit for the sides and the back and here's the one for the short side by the cab then with this model comes with three tools first is this pulverizer it's a concrete pulverizer this is an exceptional piece and actually why i wanted to get this model also comes with a rubbage grapple so as we get it out of the paper here you can see nice metal part fantastic piece to go along with this and then third we have a metal bucket quite a large bucket that goes along with this model also so those are the three tools that came with the the 860 we'll go ahead and start putting it together here walkway just snaps in to the side of the cab and the two little holes that are for it then we get the short side rails here on, on the cab side as we spin it around. Then we have the one that goes here in the back. And get that. That one is a little tight, which is good. That way they're not falling out. Um, it's great for this model, but a little hard to get in at first. And then here on the far side, we got the last rail, which actually has a camera on it as well. All right, we got all the rails in now. Let's spin, spin the unit around here and start to hook up one of the tools. We're going to grab the pulverizer, and it just hooks in on the bottom, two little eye hooks, and then on the top is where you put the pin, which is provided in the bag with the tracks. As any of these models, when they're brand new, the paint's a little thick for the holes, so you got to work the pin through, but eventually it will work through and it there you go it comes together so we'll just look at the pulverizer here on the end of the stick it'll move 360 rotates very nicely and then like anything on the end of a stick of a excavator or material handle handler it swivels up and down as you can imagine with four hydraulic cylinders for this pulverizer it's quite stiff but still it looks really good additional tools with the model our first we're going to talk about this bucket it's got an end that swivels again it just hooks up into those same eyelets and pins as the pulverizer did and then we have the rubbish grappler uh, and one thing we wish is i wish this was cut through that those those slats were actually cut but this is an all metal piece very nice when you open just one side they actually work in conjunction uh, so it is another ad additional tool that goes along with this model. As we continue looking at the model, we're gonna start at the cab. As this is a material handler and a demolition unit, it's got the grates to protect the windows, the metal walkway here up to the cab. This is another Max cab from Cinebogen. And then with a material handler of this kind, the cab is gonna move up and down. So if, as you move it down, cylinders are nice and tight it holds that pose no matter where you put it. As we look at the tracks, those are your individual link tracks. We've got nice walkways and silver steps up to the track and then some eyelets uh, to actually lifting lugs for the track assemblies itself, which you'll, we'll talk about more later. Tracks do actually have rolling guide or bogey wheels both on the top and the bottom of these track units. So something NZG has done a great job with decals and the numbers 860 on the side there coming around to the back we've got a rear view camera 
Cinnabogan across the back, and then two tail lights on the back of the counterweight. Additionally, on top, we've got an exhaust, which is very nicely modeled. On the right side, 860, some door latches. Again, the steps up and down the tracks there and the eyelets, the tracks themselves, great little pieces, metal all the way through. On the front here, we've got a walkway up to the top of the unit for maintenance and a little walkway down here on the bottom that would, when up against the tracks, would allow you up there. Hydraulic cylinders, decent color match. The green could be a little better, but overall not bad. We can get a little more focus here on the cab. There's actually a windshield wiper there on top. As we look at the boom, Cinnabogan, the hydraulic lines on this unit from NZG, really top notch. All the way up and down the boom and the stick, these hydraulic lines really are really well put together on this model. And then again, the blue pulverizer, uh, the concrete pulverizer is an excellent model. This even has some work lights out here on the stick. Really great job. As we look at the unit from the top down here, you can see the back of the cab where the hydraulic lines are for the raise and lower of the cab. We've got the metal railings, the air cleaner. Across the back here it says Cinnabogan over where the hydraulic lines off the boom come into the machine itself and then again the exhaust now as we take a look at the model, the slewing motion left and right, nice and smooth, very easy to accomplish. We're going to extend the stick and lower the boom, see what the weight of this machine looks like when it's extended in the pose. It'll hold this pose very nicely. But again, we're going to extend it just a little bit farther and see if the model can actually hold the weight of that heavy pulverizer. And you can see here it pretty easily does. Here's a look at with the unit with the grapple, looking very good overall. Now to see what the track rotation and the movement back and forth on a rough surface, very nice. You have to use a little down pressure, but it works out well. Taking a look at the unit, if we wanted to use it on a low boy or around for storage, boom doesn't quite tuck all the way, but does a pretty decent job. A unique aspect to this model is the fact that you can remove the track assemblies from the base of the model. So the way to do that is there's four screws here on the plate. You remove those four tiny screws and that'll allow you to remove this center plate. It's a little tricky once you get the last screw out, it kind of sticks. Once you get it off, there we go. So we get that off and out of our way and it's going to expose four more screws which are right up against the base of the track assemblies. Once you do that, it will release the track assemblies from the base of the model and you can model this in many different ways. Make sure when you're using the screwdriver that you do use a screwdriver with the exact head or the exact Phillips head that fits perfectly in those because if you strip these out, you could damage your model. But once you get the last assembly off, you can set that aside and now you can bring in your low boy trailer or if you're going to model this at a shop or a yard just have some cribbing around and you rotate the base so that the cribbing sets up on the model set the base down and now you're ready to move this model down the road on a transport load um, there's a lot of ways to make it look really good if you're going to move the track assemblies, you can just use a step deck trailer or another low boy to move the track assemblies. But another great thing with these large excavator or demolition machine models is that when they transport them in and out of a yard from one job site to the other, they don't always put them back together. So this would look really good just sitting at your yard waiting to go to the next job site with these this, with these assemblies stripped down and ready for transport. So this is a really unique aspect. You don't see this on a lot of models. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get the notifications when the next video is posted. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.